Welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force. I'm Crafty Fox and today we'll be building the AAV-7 which is the assault amphibious vehicle. It's used by the US Marine Corps and several countries around the world like Argentina, Brazil, Greece, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, Philippines, Taiwan, Spain, South Korea, and Thailand. It's manufactured by United Defense and Base Systems. It's an amphibious landing vehicle nicknamed Amtrax, short for amphibious tractor. And they're usually transported by ships and they can land on beachheads from the water. It has a crew of three and it can fit 21 troops. And I've actually seen this in real life on the USS New York when they visited for Fleet Week in their well deck. And these have also seen action in the Falkland Island invasion. They were used by Argentina and also it's been used in the Gulf War and the 2003 invasion of Iraq. Rack. But yeah, let's go take a look at the build. So I have two versions here today. One is with the enhanced applique armor kit And this is the most common version that you'll see But they also have this one without it. They don't have the side armor So this is just the NATO woodland paint scheme going all the way around It's armed with a 50 cal machine gun here and a mark 19 40 millimeter automatic grenade launcher in This turret. There's also some smoke grenade launchers back over here there's a lot of detail throughout some hatches over here and I think there are also hatches over here like these things can open up they also have these storage baskets on the side so with these fences over here both sides and it has four antennas this is like placed differently from this one so here you can compare it with the applique armor which is just basically just rails all the way across and it is different per side so if you look on this side they do have more of an indent over here as compared to this side more flat across on top and we'll take a look at the wheels caterpillar wheels and they basically disembark troops by lowering a ramp from the back part and on top we have some detail for some ropes like that and for this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to build with the applique armor because that's the most common one and I've also have this third Amtrak here now this one is the old Minecraft military force AAV7 built by Montez and I found out while I was making this one he actually underscaled the design and no one actually realized it was underscaled up until now I thought something was a little bit off but I didn't really check it so this was definitely too tiny for 1.5 to 1 scale so the new one it just does it a lot more justice it looks a lot more like an AAV7 as well so I'm glad that we were able to replace this inaccurate design but yeah this video is actually a commission by CSM Master so thanks to him for making this video possible he's very generous commissioning several things if you guys do want to sponsor a video or commission a build for yourself check out the link in the description but anyways let's get started on this Amtrak alright so first off let's grab some materials we're gonna take out a cobbled deep slate slab and stairs a dark prismarine slab, a dark oak sign, a dark oak trap door, a warp trap door, and a polished blackstone brick slab, a spruce log, a warp button, and a dark oak slab. All right, so first off, we'll add in a polished blackstone brick slab, hovering above the ground like this. And then next to that, we'll add in a dark oak trap door and a warp trap door. Behind this, we'll add in a dark prismarine slab here in the middle and a polished blackstone brick slab right next to that. Then we'll add in two blocks wide of dark prismarine slab right here. And we're going to add in five more. So one, two, three, four, five. Two blocks wide like this. And we'll add in a polished blackstone brick slab right there in the middle. All right, then here on the side, we'll add in three spruce logs. Skip a block, three more. Warp buttons on the sides of this, like that. A cobbled deep slate stairs facing the back here. Upside down, cobbled deep slate stairs right there. Cobbled deep slate slab on top, like that. All right, next up, we'll add in green terracotta. Make it two by two here. And we'll add in another one to the side of this. So go down here, add in U shape here, green terracotta. Another uh, L shape, so it's kind of like a W now. And mossy cobblestone walls here in the gaps. And dark prismarine slabs all the way across the side of this. Then at the front, we'll add in a dark oak sign. Put it in like that. Another green terracotta right here. Then we'll go diagonally in, add another one here. A polished black sim brick stairs facing the back. Black concrete here. Black stone button to the side of that. And upside down dark oak stairs. Then we'll add in a dark prismarine stairs upside down here. It can go all the way in the front where it's going to corner up right at the stairs. Just corner like that. Then we're going to add in a dark prismarine stairs facing the front over here. 
Add another one facing outwards right above that sign right there. All right, then we're going to go to the back and we'll add in a black concrete right here, a green terracotta on top, and a mossy cobblestone wall down below. And then on top of this, we'll add in a polished blackstone button right there. Next up, we'll add in two green terracottas here, the two gray terracottas, then two more green terracottas right behind it. Then we're going to add in two warp trap doors here, skip a block, two more, like so. Next up, we'll take out deep slate tile blocks, make it two by three in the front, just like that. So that's pretty much it for this side. So copy everything we did over here and build the other half with this as the middle. All right, so once we have both halves, it should be looking like this, kind of weird looking. But yeah, let's go over here. We're going to add in an upside down dark prismarine stairs here, then facing the front here, facing outwards right here. Then we'll face uh, back to back right here. And then polished black stone brick stairs, two of them face the front, the front of that. And then a green terracotta here, then a black concrete. Skip two blocks, another, actually is that three? Three black concretes like that. A polished black stone brick stairs here. And then the other side will add in two black concretes. Skip two, add in another one. And then green terracotta all the way across this row. And fill in this little bit here as well. Then we'll add in another brick fence on the edges. Polished blackstone brick wall here in the middle. Dark oak fence gate on the right. Warp fence gate on the left. The other side will add in three warp fence gates. A mossy cobblestone wall. And then a warp fence right here. A polished blackstone brick stairs facing outwards. And below it, a polished blackstone brick wall. Then a green terracotta and an upside down polished blackstone brick stairs. Then we'll add in a mud brick wall here. Another wall here. Brown glass pane on the left, green glass pane on the right, and then this polished blackstone brick wall right there. Then down below, a dark prismarine slab on the right, dark oak slab on the left, a dark oak sign right here, then a warp button right there. On top, we'll add in some rails, two of them here for the ropes, and then warp pressure plates, we're going to add in two of them here. Another one here, skip block another one, and then three on this side. Then we'll go over here, add in upside down, deep slate, tile, stairs upside down, two blocks wide, and some black candles on top. So I think it's four for the grenade launchers, so four candles. And then we'll add in iron bar right here, one here, another one here, another one here, another one here, and we're going to make them all three blocks tall just like this. And in the exercises, they can add in little things on top, but I'm not gonna do that. All right. All right, then we'll go in the front of this, add in a chain on the left, dark oak fence gate on the right, dark oak sign on the side of these stairs, and another chain right here. Then we'll add in a dark prismarine stairs upside down, three blocks long here. And then next, we'll add in a black carpet here, daylight detector next to it, make it blue, dark oak trap door, a dark oak slab, a deep slate tile slab here, and then a wither skeleton skull facing inwards here, facing towards the back right here. Then we'll add in green terracotta, one here, another one up here, black concrete here, here, so they kind of alternate. And then two deep slate tile stairs here, Polished blocks and brick stairs here. And then a polished blocks and brick slab here, both sides. And then down below, a polished blocks and brick stairs upside down here. Another one on the other side. And then we'll add in black concrete on the inside of this. Dark prismarine slab right there. And a pair of warp buttons like that. Then a green terracotta here, upside down, dark prismarine stairs here. Then a dark oak slab here. And then we'll add in chain, we're gonna go on either side of this. And dark oak signs on each side of this. Then we'll add in a warp fence gate here in the middle and dark oak fence gates on either side of it, open them up, just like that. All right, then we'll add in a spruce trap door right there. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the AAV7 Amtrak in Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our Minecraft and Discord servers. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.